Hi everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips that helped me draw more realistically. And for this, you will be seeing a time lapse of me drawing the Victoria's Secret model Taylor Hill. Also, before we get started, I just want to say that I have an Instagram giveaway going on right now up until March 8th where you have a chance to win a set of 120 professional colored pencils from Artessa. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, the link to the Instagram post is in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get started with the drawing tips. So tip number one is using good quality paper so you can layer and layer the colored pencil and it holds it all. So I would recommend to get a paper that is somewhat smooth but has enough tooth to evenly hold the colored pencil. I personally use the Strathmore Bristol Smooth Surface, the 300 series, 400 series, and 500 series. Tip number two is using a good quality reference image so you can be able to add in all the details. And remember to color in what you see and not what you think you see because sometimes we tend to draw things that are not there and when drawing from a reference and if you want to make it look very realistic you want to maybe copy I don't really like that word but you want to copy the reference you want to make it look as close as possible to the reference as you can but of course if you want to add your own twist to the artwork and you don't want to make it exactly like that you can definitely just add whatever you want this only applies to when you want to really make your drawing just like your reference tip number three is drawing your artwork by sections as it will help you feel less overwhelmed by how much you need to cover all at once. Maybe start with the eyes like I did here or move your way slowly to other features of the face. I do this especially so I don't feel so overwhelmed because especially when I'm working on larger drawings, I have so much area to cover and when you're working with colored pencils, they have a small point. It's not like paint you know where you can just cover large areas all at once you can't really do that with colored pencils i mean you could but it would make you feel like overwhelmed like you have so much to do and we sometimes tend to rush it that way i it's happened to me before so just take it by sections and if you don't finish it that one day you know it's fine drawing takes a lot of time you know weeks months you know just don't rush it because rushing it is not the best idea and if you rush it you're gonna pressure yourself into finishing something quickly and it's not gonna turn out as realistic as you'd like tip number four so choosing the right colors and having great contrast so for this, you don't have to always have the same hue as your reference. But just as long as the right lightness and darkness is there in the pencil, then the color will be fine. And when having good contrast, don't be afraid to go dark. Because I personally really struggled with this. I was so afraid of going dark. So afraid. <laughs> so once I overcame that fear, my drawings just started to look a lot better, more realistic. Tip number five, blending smoothly. So to blend smoothly, my biggest tip for you is to keep a light hand because to achieve a smooth blend, you have to layer and layer. And if you use too much pressure, you are going to take away more tooth of the paper, leaving you with little to no room at all to layer more color. So just try to keep a light hand and go light to dark. This really only applies when you know an area is dark. So you can go straight to dark but if it's not dark necessarily from the beginning you can build up the layers you know go slowly layer by layer to build up the color and for blending you can use circular motions or pencil strokes that are going in different directions just as long as you keep a light hand and remember to be patient because all the layers you do will just naturally and gradually blend together now when it comes to the hair you want to try to keep their pencil going to the same direction of the hair growth. That way you don't have, you know, random pencil marks going in different directions. Unless there's like tiny little strains of hair going in different directions. Then for that you can use something else, which I will go into detail right now in the next tip. So tip number six 
is adding good detail. And I think the best way to add good detail is to have sharp points on your pencils. And you can use something called an exacto knife to add more details. For example, I use it for the hair, as you've seen, and it really helps get the lightness back of the thin strands of hair and it makes it look very realistic. So when you're working with hair, you don't always have to focus on every little strand of hair because the exacto knife does that for you. Tip number seven, constantly look at your reference. You know, take pictures of your artwork if necessary and compare them to your reference so you can see what you have to fix, change, or add. And lastly, tip number eight, keep practicing. I think this is the most important one and I say this all the time, but it really is. If you keep practicing, you will get better and better at drawing realistically. But remember to never force yourself to create or to draw or to paint or whatever it is. Never force yourself. It will just come naturally. Do it when you really want to, you know? So practice. Try to practice as much as you can and I promise you, you will get better. So yeah, that is all for this video. I hope it helped you in some way. And if you would like to see more videos just like these, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.